trading. Simon Michelle joining us from Fig Securities. Simon, we're seeing these, these bonds weakening, uh, particularly there on Friday, yields moving higher, stronger economic data, I guess, supporting the view of, uh, you know, the Fed hiking rates sometime this year. So very much seeing investors taking to risk. Absolutely. Good afternoon, Leanne. So after reaching those lows last week on uh, concerns and I suppose people uh, looking to lock in some safety by increasing demand for bonds, we are seeing that slightly reversed. Uh, we're seeing people move out of bonds, take on some risk, move into equity markets, for example. We're seeing that in, uh, in our market here. Uh, and also take on a bit more risk in the bond, bond market. We're seeing credit spreads or the risk premium on bonds uh, narrow to its uh, tightest point this year as well. Uh, we did see some pretty solid uh, economic data coming out of the US and that seemed to outweigh the, the Turkish coup that we saw there. As a result of that strong data, we are starting to see the, this pricing for Fed rate hikes sort of uh, firming up. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think, uh, you know, on the back of Brexit and that flight to safety, a lot of uh, uh, the market suggested that the, the uh, Fed just wouldn't be in a position to be able to increase rates this uh, year at all and uh, really, you know, uh, priced uh, 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 no action from the Fed. Uh, we're now starting to see people uh, put that back on the agenda, and I think that's been, you know, on the back of a, a more stronger trend in some of the data recently. I think it will still be uh, affected by global factors, and, uh, you know, if we continue to see more downward movement, more central bank support, mm -hmm. as you've been speaking about, that could inhibit the ability for the US Fed to move. I think, uh, obviously, uh, if you bring that back here to local factors, we're certainly expecting a possibility of the RBA cutting rates. So, you know, there's still a lot of volatility about that interest rate direction. Simon, Tony Davison from Henderson Maxwell here. I just note that some of the yields on the longer dated uh, bonds out there, Treasury bonds, for instance, are at pretty much historic lows. If you look at the 10-year in Australia, the yield has actually slipped substantially in the last 12 months since the last S&P 500 high, and yet we've got equity markets that continue to go up. You know, do you think at some point there is the prospect for a significant reprice in sovereign yields out there, or do you think that this is just sort of a new normal that we're operating in? Yeah, good afternoon, Tony. And uh, look, that divergence is really interesting. I mean, you've got the bond market saying one thing uh, and the equity market saying the other. And normally when you get that action, one of them's not telling the truth and uh, they come back into alignment. Um, I think a few factors here. I mean, obviously, 38% uh, uh, of all sovereign bonds in the developed economies are now in negative yield. Um, there's not a lot uh, of room for further movement by central banks or further support by central banks in, the, in that negative territory. That cheap money is obviously making it very attractive to be able to leverage into some of those markets, but I think that's being inhibited by the growth and inflation forecast. So, you know, I think when I'm looking at uh, the bond curve, it's saying, you know, there's just not a lot of uh, potential for, for, for growth over the near to medium term, um, but investors are still happy to pile into equity markets. I think on both sides of it, it's really about investing on income, not particularly on, not particularly on growth. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see over the next three months whether it is the bond market that's giving us uh, an indication of what's ahead or whether the equity market will continue mm. that strength. Yeah, it is going to be very interesting. Simon, we'll leave it there. Really appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much.